Okay, let's cook. Wrong button. There we go. By cook, I mean craft. Fine. Um, objects. Food. Cold mashed potatoes. Delicious. Tomato sauce. Can I make a pizza? I cannot. I thought I had a dough or something in my... I do. I have cheese bread dough. Can I not put the cheese bread dough in here? Ha! Ah, I can. I made cheese bread. Now I just need to make a pizza. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to make a pizza. We're going to cook all our fish that we have currently. Make some dinner. Delightful. And we'll be able to sell all that dinner to one of the vendors for a nice profit. Um, you typically don't need these dinners unless you're going to pop them for the two strength, I feel like. Um, possible you could save them for a situation where you need to stack strength, like opening sarcophagi or something like that. Um, but yeah. We're just doing it strictly for monetary purposes as we will more than likely get access to new vendors as we move forward. And I'd like to buy goodies and whatever else I can get my hands on as we do that. Oh, I'm just like putting stuff in here. I'm not setting it to sell, which is what I was trying to do. Put all this stuff into the wear category. I mean, 24 for 192, that's not bad. Uh, actually, we got some ham in here. We could probably make that into dinner. Yep. Um, I don't think we have anything else, finally. We are run dry. Uh, yeah, auto sorts. So, all the stuff we don't need. save the game. Where did our party members go? That's the real question. Storage chest. So there's no loot? No loot. Barrel. Snag the random bits of trash thrown all over the place. Hey, there's Beast. Let's get him back on our team. team up, you and me. What do you say? Good idea. No, onward. All right, we got one guy. Still two to go. More rope. Probably thinking to yourself, why does he need so much rope? Well, you can never have enough rope. Ask any mountain climber that uses rope and not freehand. I am collecting quite the panty collection. I still think it would have been a great Easter egg if they allowed you to use the panties as a helmet for no particular reason. And I'm pretty sure there's a DLC out there somewhere, Lucky Charm, in which you can wear the panties as a helmet. And whether or not they added graphics to it, well, that would just be for additional comedic effect. Uh, did we leave Prince topside? We did. I thought I saw you up here. 
Ah, there you are. Off we go then. Welcome back to the party, Prince. We missed you as our traveling jester. Um, let's go down below. It's in here. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Some really good options down here for Mystic and Scholar that give you like an insight into what these are. Uh, we're going to go with the Scholar option. The old text spoke of doors like these. Dispo... Tosoriums? No. That word, they were called. Place your palm against the door. Disput... Disputosiums? The wood groans English. and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. If it's got more than six syllables, I just can't do it. The face vanishes. Uh, rattle the doorknob. The anguished face appears, then vanishes. The door remains closed. It's playing peekaboo. Oh, good talk, door. I've got sword fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is right. And what if I don't want to pay for help? Lucky charm for 106 gold. I mean, it practically pays for itself. There's Losa. She made it. If it were up to me, you'd be swinging from the end of a rope, not locked up in here. Who's this? Magister Ranley. How is Alexander still alive? Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. You keep saying that. It won't save you. Did we know he was still alive? And I just wasn't paying attention earlier. Sibyl, there she is. What's this? I found something. Beast with the sharp eyes found a loose plank. We've braved the joy, and I lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? It's funny to me that Beast would find the loose plank. When we originally found Beast, he was trying to pry a loose plank from uh, some debris that he was trying to make a boat out of. So it'd be weird. It's really weird that he's the one who found the loose plank while running past. We'd love for her to join us to the party. Come on, Sibyl. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sibyl in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. We just got experience for bringing our people back into the fold. I can get behind that. We never read the books that we collected, right? The Sodden Diary? Expert warriors for hire. All seasoned in combat. Lady of War. We learned something from that. I didn't read it. I just... Put it on screen for people who wanted to pause and read it themselves. Letter. Orders from Bishop Alexander. He sounds mad. Um, why do I have a pillow? I want to sell these panties because I don't need them. We all go commando on this team. It's what keeps us together. I guess we'll check what's in the plank. A grenade. Wonderful. And some gold. Fantastic. It's a good thing we got that grenade out of there. We wouldn't want it to preemptively explode. Um, let's 
the door so. seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice its unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. We're going to do the scholar mystic. Old text spoke of these doors, these dispu toastiums. It's close as going to get, guys. They were called Place Your Palm Against the Door. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. I wonder if this one will also shut us out. The face vanishes. Rattle the doorknob. The anguished face appears, then vanishes. The he doesn't want to talk. No entry allowed through the starboard stateroom door. Okay. So, can't get in that way. Uh, maybe through this portal here? It's not a portal. Um... This is our respec option. I think we like where Fane is at. I don't think we need to do anything. We've never once used Comeback Kid so far. I don't think there's much anything else I'd want to take on him right now. Maybe Stench? Cancel. Yes, I want to cancel. Is there really anyone I want to respect right now? I don't think there is. The only person I'd like to move things around on would probably be Beast. I think she's just gonna level him or I get those two points in Scoundrel anyway, so. You keep saying that. Worry about that. Uh, can we get in here? Can we pick the lock? Thievery level too low. That's the first time we've gotten that message. The seeker flexes her arms. Strong locks. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here, not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. So we never met this character, so she must have been a prisoner on this ship when they attacked and took it over. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Peer at the figure lying on a cot within the brig. It is indeed Alexander, out cold. Shoot a quizzical look to the seeker. He must be tougher than he looks to have survived that fight with you and the others. The wicked ones are always the last to shuffle off to the Hall of Echoes though, ain't they? The option we're going to pick is ask her to open the gate. You want to find out if the prisoners know how to get the ship moving. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold, and the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. Say that you have to try, and demand that she unlock the cage. Alright then, just don't make me regret it. Keep an eye on the bread until the cage is locked again. Uh, who are you? A young magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot, so stow your questions. Say that you need to get this ship moving now. She must know something. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the... Diplomatically, raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. 
I think Constitution is our best bet. Say that the Seekers aren't bad. They just want to go home. If she helps them do that, she'll be free in no time. There's a shift in the Magister's expression. A flicker of doubt. Then... I'm a good Magister. Loyal. But Dallas. Something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to... to sing to the ship. It let her control it. Now we're getting somewhere. She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. So that's probably in the room with the door faces. The face doors? The disposediums? Whatever. All right, Alexander, you're up. Him, sorcerer. That's the divine. I thought we talked about this. Back away. You have important matters to attend to. Prisoner or not, I swore an oath. Touch him again, and I'll kill you. I'd like to see you try. I warned you not to touch him. <laughs> Your experience will be much appreciated. Uh, Beast, you are in the proper spot. Uh, let's not kill Alexander. Um, I mean, once was enough already. Uh, a fossil. Too quick. Beast miss. You stupid beast. She ran over and petrified someone who didn't even touch Alexander. How rude. I'm pretty sure that if I blow her up, I will more than likely kill Constance. She's hurting. Uh, we'll just wand. I don't think we need to really overdo it. We will put a, a poison totem though. Yeah. All right, Beast, run over and give her the shocker. We leveled up off of that. That's great. I don't even know what level we are. We're level 9 now. That lady had nothing on her. I was expecting, like, something. Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. A hexagonal shape. Slip the gem from around his neck, place it in your pocket. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Thank you. Alright, let's get these levels out of the way. This is going to be our first level on Fane, where we do not have to put a point into summoning. Thank God. Um, so what should we put it into? I think we should put it into... Let's put it into Arrow Thurge, because we just don't have enough Arrow Thurge stuff. Actually, no. What we really want to do is put it in a point into a skill tree that will allow us to buff things with one point. That would be Geomancer for Fortify. That would be Huntsman for First Aid. That would be uh, Polymorph for Invisibility, which really doesn't help anybody else but the caster. That might be handy in a situation though. Uh, we have Pyrokinetic, which is Haste and uh, Whatever that is, other buff is. I'm blanking right now. Uh, free your mind or whatever, true sight. Scoundrel. 
I don't think has anything good, and Warfare doesn't have anything good. Hydrosophist is healing. Um, I think the best option would be Pyrokinetic, so we're going to do that. Do we have any Pyro skills? Haste. Boom. Learn it. Finally, we're getting some useful utility on our boy. Um, we'll take Supernova with Sibyl. We'll probably never use the ability on either one of our characters, but we will still learn it. Same thing with Contamination. We have a blank fire skill book. Can be used to create a skill book. How would you create a skill book, you ask? Well, peace of mind. That's what we were looking for earlier. We'll take peace of mind and we will combine it with the blank fire skill book. It gives us a peace of mind skill book. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, glad that worked out. Let's see. Where did that skill book go? There it is. Learn it. All right, so now we have two buffs on our boy Fane. Excellent. Um, now that we're starting to get skills on Fane, we do not currently have an open skill slot. Is there anything we'd really want? I think. Is there any reason we want to open up another skill slot? Yeah, let's do that. Let's give him one more memory. And let's give him one more wits. No. We really don't want the summoner going first, so we're going to hang back on the wits for right now. Um, there's no benefit to intelligence right now as a summoner. That would become prevalent more later down the line as we get attack spells for our character. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into strength. I think the constitution is high enough on this character. He's Well, it's not a lot more, but he's got a lot more life than anybody else in our game. By 30 points at least. Sibyl, what are we going to do with you? Uh, let's check your skills out first. We're plus four to Geomancer. Good god. Uh, Huntsman is level two. We're going to keep it there. We don't think we need anything else from Huntsman. Uh, Scoundrel is level 1 simply because we wanted access to Adrenaline. We got that. So let's go ahead and put one more point in memory. Eh, let's be honest, let's put two points in the memory because we want her to know all the abilities. Adrenaline. I think once we get our next trait, I think I'm going to put Mnemonic on everybody I can. Because we're going to start getting access to a lot more skills now that we've moved past Act 1. Um, you know, I think we're good at three pyrokinetic. I think we're going to start putting more points into necromancer. We're going to put the point into necromancer. As our characters start dealing more life damage and shredding through people's armors. Ooh, a shield. We'll use that to our advantage. That's just, that's just good. By, uh... I think that was Seville's old shield. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I had the plus one constitution. That was her old shield. Let's put that on. And sell the other one. Uh, okay, we're done with Seville. Did I put a drilling on her? I did. Prince, you were going hard into fire. You're at four pyrokinetic. I think we'll hold on that. We got three polymorph, which is good. Wasn't Medusa's head one that we wanted to put on him? Yep. Boom. Alright, I think we're going to go into another point. 
Actually, we'll go one into Hydrosophus so you can do some other abilities. In fact, could you imagine if we had four summoners and had four pets out? That's ridiculous. Um, are you full on memory? You are. If I were to put another point in memory, I could take Contamination, I could take Supernova. What is our fire resistance? 38%, far higher than anybody else. I still don't think that's enough to go into Supernova. I mean, you're not even taking half damage at that point. Um... I mean, the really only thing I would take is contamination. No, Medusa head. So, one more point in your memory. You're using finesse gear pieces, to be honest. Uh, I think we're going to keep you as you are, though, and go intelligence. The more I'm thinking about it, I might want Beast to go into finesse rather than strength. Because I want him to have a balance of armor resistances. So physical and magical armor. I want him to have a, you know, a consistency there. Uh, strength stacking is more physical and intelligence stacking is more uh, magic armor based. So let's go ahead and equip him with the Medusa head. Our team is looking pretty disgusting. Arrow Thurge is level 3. Necromancer, Huntsman, we don't care about. Let's go ahead and put a point into Scoundrel. Because right now we're, we're limping off the fact that we only have free Scoundrel abilities. We're going to go ahead and put one point so we actually have a natural Scoundrel. And then we could probably replace this ring with something better once we find another ring. Sybil, put your healing ring back on. And let's finish out beast points. Um, we were talking about finesse. Let's go ahead and put the two finesse in right meow. We have so many skills, man. Um... Is there ever a situation where I'll use Battle Stomp to knock someone down? Probably not. Is there for any reason I would ever use Breathing Bubble? Provides immunity to suffocating and silenced. I don't think there's that many enemies that uh, suffocate or silence. We'll just put in Hell Strike for now and worry about it later. That's the that's the right move, I think. Dave. We still didn't put our points in. We're terrible. Finesse. Save it. Rest. Let's go open this door. Find out what's in this room that's been bothering us thus far the door is still unmarked though the memory of the face and its six-sided notch remains with you hold the gem you took from Alexander out towards the door the anguished face appears once more it dips its forehead towards you and waits hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figurehead a shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door it seems to breathe all of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Fortitude. Yes, and yes again. The word is spoken. Welcome to the state room. Thank you. Um, looks like we got somebody in here. Experience, fantastic. 
want to loot this guy's room. I'm going to make so many potions with all this. 